Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Sense with Nikhil again and today I have a list of 10 affordable designer fragrances for mature gentlemen. Enjoy! So guys, when we are talking about mature gentlemen, we have to realize that there is no such thing as age or gender for perfumes. But this is a generalization of uh, certain perspectives in relation to perfumery. So when you're talk, you talking about mature gentlemen, it's 35 years and above. Now I am 30 years old and I definitely have a very, very specific taste now from what I used to like. Uh, I used to enjoy all the general perfumes, but now things are changing. So I'm sure this list will help people who are looking for some powerful or serious fragrances which create an aura of sophistication or an aura of refinement around them without having to spend a lot of cash. So the number 10 on our list is a very obvious perfume from the house of Yves Saint Laurent and this is a classic, this is Rive Gauche. This is however the 2015 version, it is, it is a re-reformulation -re of this brilliant gem from the yesteryears. Uh, this has got a wonderful lavender, a dry spicy highly aromatic french lavender it's not something which you'll find in general perfumes and let me tell you guys this is probably one of the best uses of lavender in a conventional perfume all right it's supported very well by the mintiness, mintiness of patchouli which is not very obvious it's not sharp it's not medicinal you've got a brilliant use of guy kud it's a very serious fragrance it's it's linear it does not have a very strong character because it's missing the earlier use of animalix which they had with this scent and this was such a brilliant release things have changed for this but whatever is still preserved is definitely one of the best men's fragrances out there and this is definitely a mature scent Yves Saint Laurent's Rive Gauche. Next up we have another classic but this is from the house of Azaro, Azaro Purom. This is the first reformulation bottle which I have from my teenage days. Yes, I had a serious taste back then. It's quite a surprise guys, but this perfume is mind blowing. It's such a beautiful, such a unique moss, animal musk based fragrance. It just blows my mind away whenever I wear it. But guys, let me tell you, fragrances like these cannot be worn on an everyday basis. All right, you have to rotate, you have to rotate. Uh, this gives you a proper aromatic fuchsia, shipra kind of a, a feeling. The musk is soft, however, it's sensual enough. Very, very nicely blended and top quality ingredients. Things have changed a lot. This is not as it used to be, not as brilliant, not as vibrant as it used to be. It's, it's, it, it was a lot fresher and uh, it was a lot uh, muskier in the base. However, this is definitely one of the most amazing scents out there still if you can grab it you'll definitely enjoy it it's got a seriousness of oak moss and uh, that beautiful vetiver and it's definitely one of the most amazing fragrances for gentlemen this is another release from the house of Yves Saint Laurent this is Oud Absolu one of my all-time favorite fragrances now the thing with this fragrance is it's a reformulation and all of us know it. I have the original formulation with me, which is very potent. The oud, oud note is much more pronounced than this. But guys, I believe this is one of the best well-balanced fragrances that you can get out there in the market. Very sophisticated. That oud note is uh, just a bit animalic. It's not sharp, but it is leathery. However, mandarin at the top, which is a fresh, juicy citrus it really balances it out well and the use of myrrh in this fragrance is phenomenal some high quality myrrh in there which provides that sweet incense and uh, which is and then you have this beautiful patchouli providing the earthiness or the sweetness to the perfume it's almost like a, a chocolatey version of oud and i absolutely love it it has decent performance five to six hours to be specific the older version used to last whole day but i don't care about that i can reapply fragrances easily i don't have a problem with that so i would definitely not miss out on a brilliant fragrance like this one next on the list we have a beautiful new release from the house of jean paul gautier i am not particularly fond of their perfumes but this one really blew my fuse away this is a beautiful perfume in a beautiful bottle look at that uh, flacon it's such it's such a beauty it's such a stunning bottle to have in your fragrance collection and this fragrance is very nice in fact it's based on your typical generic formula but what they have done is added some high quality ingredients to it 
the cardamom note based on a, on a, a beautiful background of tonka beans which is not overtly sweet or you know almost like that unisex uh, perfume note it's very masculine there's cardamom there's myrrh there is vetiver there's oak moss this is a beautiful fragrance in my opinion it's quite serious and it 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 really is a sexy fragrance all right even the younger guys can enjoy wearing this fragrance a lot but there is a certain maturity to this fragrance it's not as playful as a party fragrance and the most uh, the worst part about this fragrance is its longevity it does not last on your skin at all that's why i advise you to spray it on your clothes on your clothes this could last an easy 6 to 8 hours and if you're not getting the uh, adequate projection you can spray some extra you can go with the uh, 8 to 10 sprays easily because this is not harsh or annoying to the nose very sophisticated on the lines of ch men prive or uh, yves saint laurent's la nuit but better than all of those fragrances and one of the best releases from jean paul gaultier please try this fragrance now this fragrance may not come as a surprise this is a flanker to the original aqua di gio from the house of giorgio armani this is a very well blended fragrance even though you get that synthetic plasticky feeling as soon as you spray it on your skin or clothes but guys wait for the dry down i'm telling you on the dry down this fragrance is a lot lot better in fact that wonderful use of incensia which is soft it's almost got a leathery velvety tone to it and there's this beautiful bergamot note it's not actual crisp bergamot that would be an expensive affair for something of a mass appealing scent that this is but it's combined very well and you have some spicy elements and it's almost like pineiness mossiness everything settles down beautifully on your skin you get a lot of compliments wearing this fragrance it's almost got a heavy on broxen doors uh, like the or savage and that works that works and helps with the projection 6 to 8 hours of longevity great compliments this is a serious fragrance not as chirpy or as youthful as the original aqua di gio but a serious fragrance and definitely one for mature gentlemen all right guys this is another fragrance from armani but this is one of the most amazing fragrances that i have ever put my nose upon why this is a basic fragrance which you can get in the market for a decent price nobody talks about it but the quality here guys is unmistakably beautiful absolutely beautifully well blended very mature beautiful bergamot not bergamot note which is an expensive perfume ingredient here you can just make it out a lovely use of oak moss a brilliant muskiness to it which is non animalic your safe a uh, typical generic musk and uh, some woodsiness to it a beautiful use of vetiver summery freshy earthy almost like uh, sitting on a fresh freshly cut grass lawn and it works wonders guys however the longevity is on the poor side you get a maximum of 3 to 4 hours with this but you can reapply this fragrance guys the bottle is small you can easily carry it in a, in your bag in your car i'm telling you guys this is one of those fragrances that you would wear outdoors especially on a hot summer day when it's it's humid outside this will work wonders for you this is armani eau pour homme number 4 on this list is Uh, it's it's not a designer fragrance but this perfume is so so affordable guys this is from the house of l'occitane on provence which is a french brand and they deal basically with uh, body products however their recent releases like eau de bois which is a beautiful piney take on tobacco vanille and this one goes in line with bois de portugal from the house of creed this is a stunning fragrance i'm telling you guys this costs about 4000 rupees in the market that's uh, around uh, 50 60 US dollars and you get 100 ml this is vetiver from the house of loxitan but guys there is not much vetiver here the vetiver is in the background it's a very soft uh, almost mossy kind of an earthy note here and uh, mixed very well with your generic citruses and uh, generic woodiness the best part about this fragrance is the blending guys now i'm telling you great perfumers can do magic with average Uh, quality ingredients and it is a brilliant example of that the longevity is easily 8 to 10 hours and there is a definite character to this fragrance every stage comes one by one it's enjoyable on uh, the the paper strip it's as, and, and and it's equally enjoyable on your skin a very brilliant after shave like fragrance but this is some high quality stuff guys i'm seriously telling you do not miss out on this one this is loxitan vetiver Now guys this is one fragrance which does not need an introduction one of my favorite fragrances period this is a designer fragrance which should cost 
almost 200 US dollars. I'm not kidding you guys. Francois de Marchi, the master, and this is Dior Homme Intense from the house of Christian Dior. One of the most amazing fragrances. We have an elder brother to this at number two, Dior Homme, Dior Homme Parfum. But guys, I'm telling you, if you want a well-balanced fragrance, which is not as serious or, uh, you know, as masculine as that, if you are a young man, but with uh, a good taste, with a refined taste, you need something special, you need something unique to impress the people around you. You can wear this fragrance to date nights, you can wear this fragrance to parties, you can wear this fragrance when you are among your friends, when you are in a formal meeting, this is a stunning fragrance and the way it develops on your skin is what really stuns me. That means this fragrance has some really high quality ingredients which are your basic, basic iris or its root but it's done so nicely, it blends so very well with those chocolate, chocolatey elements in the background. This is a 2015 version and my bottle has improved with aging. I don't know what has worked here but I think it's just the concentration of the perfume ingredients. You have this uh, slight pininess to this fragrance, you get a vanillic tone from the use of tonka beans and some other vanillic elements here. It's, it's the leathery kind, it's the smokier kind so you do not feel as if you're wearing a cheap candy vanilla fragrance. This works wonders, people love it. Everyone around me loves it and especially when it dries down, when that sandalwood accord throws out, I mean this fragrance is stunning. Now number two, as I stated, is Dior Homme Parfum from Francois de Marchi as well. This is from the house of Christian Dior, a serious version of a beautiful fragrance like Dior Homme Intense. I believe this is one of the most amazing fragrances out there. A darker version, a more serious version. It's not as playful or as sparkly as Dior Homme Intense. But this is slightly more creamier, slightly more dense, a, a, a bit leathery, more on the leather and iris. This iris is dry and harsh. It's not soft. It's not uh, like your uh, freshly washed clothes. It's, 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 it's strong, it's uh, attractive and it has a loud projection and sillage, all right? Now, if you compare craftsmanship, I would say Dior Homme Intense is definitely better than this, but this is a serious man's fragrance and it is one of my favorites. Anyone who's looking for a serious fragrance, but not your typical uh, Chipra or Aromatic Fugere, a modernistic sort of a strong masculine fragrance, a beastly fragrance which lasts on you for hours and hours, Dior Homme Parfum, without a doubt, one of the most stunning fragrances which has come out from a generic brand. Now guys, my number one, and this may come off as a surprise, I like old man fragrances, I like barbershop fragrances. This is the best fragrance in the designer list or the affordable range of things. This is Chanel's Antius. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but this is a stunning fragrance still. It's, it's missing the old vibrancy of yesteryear's fragrances, but guys, my god, this is a stunning fragrance it's strong you get that rose you get that uh, aldehydes those those powerful aldehydes at the top and then it kinds of uh, changes into something of a leathery uh, spicy patchouli vetiver oak moss cedar kind of a thing and it smells gorgeous the development on this fragrance is amazing it might come off as a a little uh, a little powerful for someone who is younger in age but for people who are mature enough to enjoy this fragrance this is a winner from the house of chanel probably one of their most amazing fragrances the reason why i say uh, this is because this maintains the powerful uh, vintage perfume ingredients all right this maintains that powerful shipra sort of vibe you can still enjoy such beautiful fragrances it connects you with the past of brilliant perfume making and this is chanel and ts at number one i hope you enjoyed this list and we'll be back for more these were my top 10 favorite fragrances from the designer list and i'll bring you my top 10 favorite luxury fragrances next time until then take care bye bye